Yes, sir. You know, the better players you have, um, obviously, in all aspects, but the easier it is to to have success. And I just think this time compared to last year, uh, we've got more guys that look, you know, like they belong in this league. You know, we've got bigger guys that could run, which was something last year we had littler guys that could run, but not a lot of size with the same speed. And, you know, bringing up this young crop and as well as transfers, you just feel more better about the guys that we have compared to the other teams that are around this league. And obviously the buy-in has been good um, both last year and this year, which obviously if your best players believe in special teams, those younger guys and those new guys, um, it's easier for those guys to buy in as well. Front row tonight. Tanner, how has Alex been doing? We've seen him out there hanging out with everybody during every practice. Like, how has he sort of progressed? You know, he's doing well. Obviously, you know, it was a slow process to get him to where he is at now. Um, but I think he weighs over a little bit over 140 now, so he's, he's gaining that weight. He's starting to kick, um, really kind of amped it up this week. Um, as far as all that goes health-wise and everything, you know, he's back to being himself. There was a point of time where you can, you know, he was always going to, he's always the type of kid that's going to say he's doing great, whether he's having a good day or a bad day. Um, but now the personality that he's, we're used to him having has shown up more and more, and it's been great for those younger guys in the room to have his veteran presence, even though he's just a redshirt sophomore, but they all respect him as a player. And uh, when he says something, it holds weight. So it's been great to have him back more around the guys than maybe he was this summer or early, late spring. You had a few guys working in both uh, kick and punt return. How are things looking? Good. You know, I feel comfortable. I was actually just upstairs talking to Coach Davis about that. He helps um, me with the punt returners. Feel way more comfortable than we did probably this time last year about having multiple guys that could go back there. Obviously, everybody knows the player Keontae is, um, but playing corn in this league, you're going to be running around nonstop. So um, some of those young guys will be in the mix. Um, Lambert, Smith, I mean, there's a good crop of guys who Will Upton has stood out, you know, as far as guys that could just consistently catch the football. Um, but there's a better crop of guys back there. Um, you know, ultimately the goal is to have whoever's back there you feel comfortable with First, securing the football, then be able to make people miss after that would be the main priority. But feel much better than we did probably this time last year with those guys we have back there. We've seen some of the true freshman receivers operating as and working as as punt returners too. Just thoughts on uh, on how they might fit into that role? Yes, you know that crop. Those guys have been obviously they're great players that we all know and we all talk about. Um, but their willingness you know, to buy into special teams, whether it is at returner or go be the R2 on kickoff or go be a frontline guy. From all four of those guys have been unbelievable. Uh, what you kind of, you worry about, you know, those highly recruited guys coming in thinking, you know, I'm too good to do this, but that has not been the case. Um, we've worked mainly all those guys. Bryce has been mainly the guy that's only been returner just because of his stature a little bit. Um, but the rest of those guys have been hitting both returners and, okay, go back there and return some kicks. Now come up here and work the front line on a KOR and a punt return because those guys are probably going to be one of the better 11 we have on any unit. So fitting them in the right place and their attitude about, oh, I'm not the returner. It hadn't been that way. It's just kind of whatever the team needs to help has been awesome to witness. Right, yeah, you know, it's been that recruiting process with Towns was probably the most dramatic one for any kicker maybe of all time. Um, but we were glad we have him. Obviously, you know, the goal or the plan was to, you know, have him sit in red shirt behind McPherson. Now, depending on how quick McPherson come back may or may not be able to happen. But um, to get a guy like that as your number two kicker and you feel comfortable about him being the number one guy, um, I feel like we've got the two best kickers in the country. Um, I really do. It's not just something I'm saying. Those guys are the most talented group I've ever had in my history of coaching. Um, their mindset is what you want. Uh, but to be able to have Towns here in a situation that we none of us could see happening, happening, and to have him here and his attitude and how he's related to those guys, that group, and how he takes coaching. Um, obviously, everybody saw the spring game, and he was going whatever it was, 7-7 seven of seven and all that. Um, but he's still just a freshman, just no different than a wide out we have or the linebackers, anybody else, they're freshmen. Um, you know, but he had a good camp. I think he finished uh, fall camp around the 78%, um, which he was 100% um, from 40 and in, which is that's the main kind of reps that you see in college football. There's not many kicks. The 50-yarders get all the headlines, but there's really not many of those um, in the course of a season. 
Um, but we feel good where he's at, and he's competing and doing a good job. Jarquez has been really enthusiastic about being on special teams these last couple of seasons. Do you expect that to continue? And, and what's it been like uh, seeing the impact he has on, on that side of the ball? Yes, you know, the, the biggest mistake I had when I first got here is I took him off kickoff depth chart just because I knew he was a starting running back and uh, didn't want to get fired over having him kick off. But I also don't want to get my tail whipped by him by not putting him on there. So there's a fine line, but he's exactly what you want. I mean, he wants to be on every unit, kickoff, kickoff return, pump, pump return. Obviously, we got to be as smart by the amount of work we put on him, the workload he's going to get week in and week out. But he's in every meeting. He wants to be on them all. Um, hopefully, we get to a point where we don't have to use him on everything, which I feel better about. Um, but he's going to be on there running on kickoff, whether I like it or not, or really Coach Freeze likes it or not. We just got to be smart when and where we put him. Um, but he's what you want. You know, when your best players, like I said earlier, when your best players buy in to what we do on special teams and want to be a part of it, obviously these younger guys, they all kind of look up to these vets. So if they're doing it, it's easy for me to say, you know, you, you got to do it too. And long term, you know, when all these NFL scouts come around, that's the first thing they're going to ask is, is he willing to um, play on special teams? And with him, you don't have to say anything. You could just show him. So who are the candidates on kickoff return? Uh, you know, we've got Cobb will probably be the primary guy. Cobb and Malcolm will probably be the top two right now if we had a game tomorrow. Obviously, Jarquez, but like I said, kind of limited his hits, but he'll probably get some reps throughout the season. Would not surprise me. But if we had a game today, the two guys back there would probably be Malcolm and Cobb.